Welcome back. Daybreak is all local all morning, and every Saturday we highlight a local company together with our partners at Indiana Grown. And this morning we have Ash and Elm here with us. And, you know, what a better time than this weekend <laughs> to maybe de-stress from the craziness of the week and maybe ha have a couple cold ones. Exactly. It's a perfect time for that. Yeah, and you guys, you said just, was it yesterday you mm -hmm. have a new flavor? So talk to us about that. Yeah, so yesterday we released our... Um, our newest seasonal which is called Obscura Blackberry Cider. It's um, one of the first times we've done a fruit cider that's really dry so I think it'll appeal to a new type of customer that that maybe is more of a wine drinker or likes the drier things. We usually just have a couple dry options but this one is one of those. Yes and that's one of the reasons I really like ciders versus beer. I can't have <laughs> beer anyways because of my celiac but you know ciders I can have and I am a wine drinker so mm -hmm. I really I'm one of those people that kind of falls into that category. So for someone who's maybe never had a cider, how would you describe it? Because it, it's not a regular beer. No, it's not a beer at all. It's, it's actually legally a wine. It's, it's made in the same way wine is made, just instead of grape juice, you use apple juice. So you ferment it slowly with yeast. There's no cooking or heating involved. And um, yeah, it's, it's, it doesn't always have to be apple tasting, even though it is made with apple juice. It, it can be flavored with fruits or hops or other things and um, it's a really versatile beverage that I think more and more people are starting to learn about. Awesome and I know you guys have a deal going on if people want to try an assortment of your flavors mm -hmm. um, you have a deal on cans and then also growlers so talk about that. Yep um, since we had to become carry out only uh, on Tuesday we have been running our regular discount growler special which is two dollars off of every growler and we're going to continue that throughout um, these kind of uh, carry out closures and then we've always done we'll continue to do a 15 percent discount if someone comes in and buys a case so yesterday when we released Obscura we were pretty busy throughout the day um, just a couple people at a time and we stayed far away from each other but um, a lot of people uh, took advantage of those discounts yesterday to stock up for the weekend and who knows how long <laughs> right I think yeah you're hoarding toilet paper you're also mm -hmm. probably hoarding alcohol at this yes. point as I go through the grocery store I see that aisle slowly <laughs> dwindling down which right. you have to understand well that's exciting and what are some of your more popular flavors I know you guys are in stores especially mm -hmm. around Indianapolis mm -hmm. yeah one of our most popular flavors is fleeting youth which is a raspberry and lemon cider and unlike the one we just released fleeting youth is a sweeter cider so we okay. kind of have two that are a available if you like fruit whether you're a sweet person or a dry person um, we got those two that appeal to you and then we also do a really popular monthly release called the cider of the month okay and um, each month on the first of the month we release a new style of cider 2020 is the first year we've had it available in cans as well as on draft Wonderful. Um, so yeah our cider of the month for this month is made with juice from Beasley's Orchard so we're supporting another Indiana um, that. business right now love that awesome yeah. so of course you uh, you said your hours currently are noon to what time eight every eight. day noon yep. to eight they have carry out they also do delivery you can order online so make sure you support your local business especially at a time like this so thank you so much to being here yeah with us you. this morning and